Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Ace Streamline and welcome back to Astrobot! Oh, that's kind of a lot of my headphones, but hey, first we got some more characters like that red, hair, that red shirt girl that I don't know, Can Can Can, an ape, I also see Ken and Dante. That's kind of cool, the custom paint job, whatever I select, is apparently what goes in the control and the title screen too. Let's go for it! Woohoo! And yeah, last time I did defeat the octopus. Kind of by the skin of my teeth, but anyway. And last time I remember, there was that whole thing of the, uh. Yeah, the Bot of War level, as it is called on this one. Yeah, thing is, I don't sound too excited, mostly because I am not a fan of God of War, like, not at all. Gotcha. But, yeah, thing is, despite the fact that I'm not a fan of God of War, I'll just do the level anyway, because I said I get it 100%. Right now, I'm just gonna have to suck it up with the fact that I'm going through a level based on a franchise I don't fancy whatsoever. I'm sorry, guys, it's just not my thing. Hey, worm. Or is that a snake? Because the other one was a cobra. I barely know anything about God of War other than the fact it's just based on a lot of mythology and, uh, well, I do know about just the fact that Kratos has a son and he keeps calling him boy. <clears throat> boy. That's pretty much all I know. Oh, hello, Kratos. Not my ideal protagonist. Well, thanks for the axe anyway. I will not get the concept here at all. Is that supposed to be like Thor's hammer of Yulmir or something? Pardon my ignorance, but uh... I will never play God of War. Sorry guys. Huh. Then I can throw the axe. And summon it back. It is kind of similar to Thor's hammer of Yulmir. <laughs> Of course, I can attack normally. There's my spin attack, and I still have the peak boosters, of course. Ice, huh? So I guess it uh, has the power to turn enemies to ice or freeze them solid, maybe? I don't know. But I'm doing it, might as well just make use of it. I know, uh, some people fancy God of War probably because of the mechanics and they just say, it's good. Well, that's not good enough for me. I mean, I don't fancy it mostly because it's just, to me, it's a lot of nonsense. It's got a lot of stuff I don't fancy and uh, that I don't approve of. I have no idea who you are. You're playing the PS2, basically playing the PS2. Uh, I, you know, I am knowledgeable about one thing. God of War Ragnarok was not on the PS2. But apparently they're just saying God of War Ragnarok. <laughs> okay, get in the controller. Ironwood Jut Jotin. Jotin. I don't know how that, how to say that. Paints a pre a prescient picture. I don't know how that's pronounced. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Game over. Huh. Back in the LPS one too. That's interesting. Apparently, just uh, looking like that uh, you're buying a PS one off the PS store, and it just says "Game over" if you open it. What, was it a rage game where you die a whole bunch? A lot of ignorance coming from me. But, as you guys probably might have uh, figured out by now, well, I, uh, I only believe in the Lord, so 
to quote an American hero from Marvel, there's only one god, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't dress like that. Yeah, God of War just really isn't my thing. I would not enjoy it if I tried it. I mean, I might find the mechanics intriguing, but I don't like the way it's themed. And I, uh, I don't like the setting, so... It's a big N-O for me. Uh, looks like a giant. Of course, they're trying to infer the fact that he is a giant killer. To me, that's nothing more than just a baloney. He's only fought organic giants. What about mechanical giants? I'm pretty sure that a mechanical giant would be able to destroy him in an instant, given the fact that his weapons would have no effect on him whatsoever. Uh, Thunder Goddess. Big hair, bigger heart. I don't know you. There's only one god. <laughs> no idea what I did there. Doesn't look like I can get up there. It's just stuff. Take this. True, the uh, mechanic of throwing the axe and whatnot is cool, but uh, I don't know where that comes from. But hey, Astrobot's a fun game anyway. I mean, the Ape Escape level was fun, but uh, this I'm just eh. Get through it. Get everything done here, and I'll never come back to this level ever again. Unless I'm just replaying this game casually. I'm just doing it to get it over with. Ah. Here's I have to yell into this horn! I don't know you. Big snake looking thing. Hello. Get in. Thunder God, big hammer, bigger belly. Sorry, I don't know you. Unless you're referring to Thor, maybe? I don't know if hitting those birds actually does something. Do you happen to have something on your tail? Again, I apologize for my being ignorant of a franchise that doesn't intrigue me at all. Okay, lift. And I put the turtle on Spelly. Who are you? Hmm. Valkyrie Queen, the Witch of the Woods no more. I don't get it. Huh. Well, that makes sense. Turn the ice to water. Here's that didn't have any effect because he was armored. the thing. Make it clear in here. There we go. Huh. You are carrying ahead and I apparently can't seem to... Oh. Oh, I thought you were missing your body or something, and I had to find it. 
Smartest man alive. When it comes to wisdom, they're always ahead. Well, although that is a common pun there, I have no idea what that is. Huh. There should be one more green bird, I guess. Maybe that will re reveal something. Just to be sure, let me backtrack just a little bit. Doing a big check here. Yeah, hello big snakey. Was there possibly a green bird at the beginning I might have missed? made it. Looking for green flashy bird. I can kind of feel like a pounding in the dual sense controller, like I'm supposed to be heavier than normal. I mean, I get that Kratos is a big dude, but, uh, <laughs> stomping around does not make you mighty. Take that. I may have rescued you in the last video, but I don't fancy either of you at all. Eh, just press on, or, or let me double check here. Could be a green bird I missed. Is there? Nope. Stone canvases, I guess. Yeah, being honest, with certain games that involve blood, I can handle it to an extent. But, uh, I cannot handle it if it's like a massive blood splatter like a fountain. I, I can't deal with that at all. I can handle it if it uh, comes out in, like, streaks or just leaking out, but not splattering. I don't tolerate that. Woohoo! Three ringers. Oop, come back here. Really hoping I didn't miss a bird somewhere because they seemed important. Huh. Well, that's kind of neat, admittedly. Keep it stuck there. Ah, I got popped. Bless it all. Hmm. Assuming that's his, like, roar of vengeance or something, like, I'll come back with a vengeance and I will win or something. Yeah, I'm just not getting anything here, guys. Well, hardly anything at all. Of course, super strength. And I made a way open. Another bot over there. Go ahead and rescue you. Another bot rescued. Uh, Dwarven? Uh, Dwarven blacksmith. The only thing bluer than their skin is their language. I don't get it.
yeah, I may be a major gamer, but, uh, well, can't play them all. In fact, uh, there's some franchise I, franchises I will stay away from entirely. Yeah, I saw the bird was there, but... Let me get this first. And that's all of them. Eyes of the All Father. I don't get it. I'm not gonna risk punching any of you. Or using me. I mean, I'm technically using the axe. Why would I get spiked by them? Freeze and break. I mean, yeah, there's other franchises I'd rather stay away from, like, uh... I'm not playing Resident Evil, <laughs> for starters. Oh, I'm supposed to use it as a platform? Okay, that's kind of clever. Not the first time I've seen that, though. I'm also never playing Bayonetta. Oh, heck no. I hate her entirely. I'm also never getting involved with Spawn. Basically, I just hate anything that looks creepy. All bots rescued. Dwarven artisan. Strong middle work, weak stomach. Don't get it. Okay. I got all the collectibles here, and I got myself a trophy, too. Let me guess, I'm gonna be fighting some, uh, God of War related boss at the end of this level? Or something? Honestly, they call themselves gods, but here's the thing. God aren't gods supposed to be immortal, and yet they apparently take damage and they can die? That makes absolutely no sense at all. That means they're not gods at all. Ah, froze myself. Whoops. Eh, I don't fancy Kratos anyway. I mean, it's... I'm kind of relating this to the fact that Odin, in uh, one of the Thor movies for Marvel, said, We are not gods. We are born, we live, and we die. Just the same as humans do. And I don't recognize you at all. Freeze. Need to hog? Oh. I don't know you, but I gotta take you down anyway for the sake of clearing this specified game that's only making a reference. Super strength time, it looks like. Yep. Take this! Tentacular Spectacular. And I rescued another ship part, which happens to be the SSD. Mothership's SSD allows space travel faster than the speed of loading. Well, yeah, the PS5 is boasting its fact that a lot of its games have near instant load times. Alright. Time to get you in and back to the uh, hub world. Whew. Phew, I am glad that's over. Sorry guys, I'm not going to enjoy God of War even if I try playing it. To me, it's a big, oh heck no, stay away. But hey, to my benefit, I get to rectify another part. Not another component. Obviously, it's useless when it's icy cold, I gotta try to thaw it out carefully. Or saw it out. Oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> rip. 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 Using an actual chainsaw. Just gotta make sure I don't cut the thing. 
There we go. I'll catch you out. Attention climbers, the saws are on the way. Yay! Gotcha free, but you're probably messed up from the like, cold temperatures. Hmm. Here we go. I kind of wonder what these are for. Okay, in you go. Okay, they're like additional, uh, additional cartridges. I mean, I did notice that there looked like there was something missing. Apparently, I'm just uh, replacing broken components. All fixed up. Switch on. That's two components. First the memory, and now the SSD. How cool is that? <laughs> okay, now let's get you inside the hardware. Alright, in you go. Memory and hyperspeed have been achieved. Solid performance. That's what I'm talking about. Woohoo! All right, done good. I'm also glad I don't have to go back to the bot of war level. I'm sorry guys, I just really don't see the fun in that one. Again, the satellite is now down. Looks like I gotta go rescue him if I need another location. You know, first it was a crane that helped me get me across. Now it appears it, it is a giant pig. Yeah, a lot of you helped me over here. Thank you. Let's go. I need a lot of strength. Woo! All right, I need a lot of you again. Let's do this. I was wondering, what are you guys doing? Apparently, they're forming makeshift vines for me to swing on. Hey there, Spike. Yep, and there's my way back, like normal. Hey, turtles. 100. Fortunately, I got plenty. All right. All y'all get over here. Well, a whole ton of y'all. Let's go. Okay, that's my objective. Of course, I need to look around. Rescue. Curious kitty. Solves puzzles, loves to nuzzle. Not quite sure where you're from. Alright. That's kind of neat. Assistance, please. I need more of ya. Thank you. Let's break it! Ah! And we find ourselves another egg. Sheba Influencer. When they bark, humanity listens. I don't get it. Yeah, general rule of thumb, if you can't play all games that are out there, it's not possible. Leave my friend alone! Jerk. Another bot rescued. I need help! Gotta flip this turtle back over. All right, send aside. I should be able to grab the turtle and flip it over. Come on. Oh, there we go. There you go. 
And there's the last puzzle piece I need for that last uh, picture there. Cool. Oh yeah. Time for a change. The changing room is open. The only thing left is to find the perfect outfit. So, I guess not only can I change the paint job of the controller, but I can also change the way Astro looks too. Huh. Give me some help. Okay, push! Heave ho, heave ho, heave ho, heave ho! Rescue! Robotic Sucker gets under your skin. I don't really know where you're from. Looks like you need a little assistance there, buddy. Another one rescued. I've rescued so many friends. Gotta get rid of this guy first. Okay. I could use some more help, please. Thank you. Push! And four additional bots rescued. Just by breaking them out of the cage. Looks like you need help too. Out of my way. Anything else around here? Let me check the map. Uh, other than the satellite, no. Okay. So, on that note... I need more help again. Oh, that's what the seashells are for. Cool. Uh, that's neat. I like that. Word of advice. Do not neglect rescuing friends because they can help in ways that you can never imagine. Let's go, Satellite. We have another nebula to uncover. Yeah, I should also check out the changing room. In fact, I'm almost out of time. So I'm gonna have to check out this new location next time. And it's obvious that the next boss is a snake. That's a new boss entirely, because those two are just returning bosses. So, uh, yeah. Let's go check it out. Alright, so, hello everyone. Still the matter of unlocking the last thing here, the safari park. Uh, plus there's a little gotcha I can get. Gimme. I, I, give. Give. And there's one more cache over here. Ten of you, over here. Hey there, Quill and Katamari. Poor Katamari tripped. Get some gotcha first. Huh, what's with the two gold ones? Oh, there's a lot more. I'm gonna have to be grinding coins. Well, I think the gold ones do give you coins. Or, no. Uh, they're outfits! Okay. Pro driver outfit. Perfect for time travels. <laughs> Grand Trismo. Cool. The bovine outfit. This outfit's in a field of its own. The Jotnar Shrine, a black canvas with giant potential. Yeah, I guess that's what the artist I found in the Bot of War stage. Pardon my ignorance, but I will never play that game. Well stocked campfire, bends off the fim Fumble Winter Frost. Eh. Just meh. Meh, that's all I have to say. 
Magical Smithy. A forge for weapons of mythical proportions. Huh. Might be interesting to some people, but not me. All right. Oh, neat. Because I have uh, more than just the one I got. Well, the ones I got. Golden. <laughs> I am now Golden Astro. Oops, that's normal. Okay, I get it. The yellow one is the one I currently have equipped. Of course, there's also the one from Bloodborne. Papapa Rapa or something. Wretched. So it's Gran Turismo and uh, that cow costume. I'll go with Ratchet for now. Because, you know, I love the Ratchet and Clank franchise. I could change in the future. But hey. I'm kind of hoping they do make another Ratchet and Clank game where you can play cooperatively as uh, Rivet and Ratchet. As well as uh, Clank and Kit. Like, uh, switch between them freely and have a second player join in if they want to for additional help. That'd be cool. What they should do is allow you to go as Giant Clank or Giant Kit anytime you want to, but that's wishful thinking. They need to bring that back. Well, in any case, I'm, uh, I'm out of time for this episode, so, uh, well, in any case, thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless. And I mean, God Almighty bless. Christ the Lord bless. And until next time, this is Ace Streamline signing off.